Vladimir Putin luxurious lifestyle. To hear Vladimir Putin tell it, he works like a galley slave, pouring blood, sweat and tears into toiling for the Russian people with little personal gain in return. Yet according to a new report by some of his harshest critics, Putin may be the richest slave in the world, reaping official perks as the powerful leader of a country with a long history of enriching its omnipotent czars. Watches in white gold, yachts stacked out in the plushest of drapery and at least one flying toilet worth $75,000 £47,000, are among the presidential perks detailed by Boris Nemtsov, a former deputy prime minister turned Putin critic and his co-author Leonid Martiniuk, a member of the opposition Solidarity Movement, in a report released on Tuesday. Putin has led Russia for more than 12 years, the authors write. Losing popularity, Putin is maniacally clinging to power. It's clear why. It's not just the fear of losing his freedom, capital and property or the influence of his inner circle, who have grown fantastically rich under his rule, they say. One of the most serious reasons that forces Putin to hold on to power is the atmosphere of wealth and luxury to which he has become accustomed and which he does not want to give up. According to the authors, Putin has overseen a phenomenal expansion in the awarding of presidential perks. At his disposal are 20 palaces and villas, a fleet of 58 aircraft, a flotilla of yachts worth some 3 bn rubles. 59.2 million pounds, a watch collection worth 22 meters rubles and several top-class Mercedes. We did not publish data on the cost of the clothes and things that Putin regularly uses, the suits, shoes and ties worth tens of thousands of dollars, mere trifles when compared to the villas, aeroplanes watches and cars, they wrote. The report, ironically titled The Life of a Galley Slave is the latest salvo in the opposition's attempt to discredit Putin as they continue to challenge the legitimacy of his return to the presidency this year. It could signal an attempt to expand the opposition beyond the urban middle class that comprises most of its ranks, highlighting the stark contrast in the way Putin lives compared with the average Russian. In a country where more than 20 million people can hardly make ends meet, the luxurious life of the president is a blatant and cynical challenge to society by a limitless ruler, the authors write. With photographs of each palace, watch and aircraft, the report paints a colorful picture of the life enjoyed by Putin, who famously compared himself to a galley slave during a 2008 press conference. There are the columned facades of palaces outside Moscow, in the 